Hello guys, welcome. So I am finally getting to some solo JC content. Well, more solo JC content, I should say. I've checked out a few of his music videos and I'm getting into some tracks from the story of Kate, which I'm excited for. But also, I feel a little funny getting into some Kate tracks before I listen to Schizophrenic, but I do plan to listen to Schizophrenic later this year. It's on the schedule, so we'll get there when we get there. But in the meantime, we have this track titled Until Yesterday, which a lot of you have hyped up. Though it's JC, so I'm like 80% sure I'm going to love this. Anywho, we obviously only have the audio here because it's an unreleased track. But I don't mind looking at this pic Picture for the next four minutes. Not at all. And on that note, let's get into this. <laughs> I feel so bad for laughing, but it just clicked <laughs> the title. I think part of me was going into the song expecting it to be lovey-dovey for some reason. But no, JC has basically turned an episode of Mori into a song. And apparently he's not the father. He's a daddy, but he's not the father. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just said that. Oh well, no taking it back now. What in the Billy Jean is going on? Oh my gosh, I'm sure my facial expressions were all over the place just now, and that was because I was listening to the story. <laughs> I am loving the sound of the song. Obviously, I've only heard the singles from Schizophrenic, but compared to the singles from that album, his voice sounds so much more at home here. We all know he can R&B like nobody's business, but I really like his approach to the more alternative rock sound. Well, it's not exactly alt-rock, but... You know, it's in that wheelhouse. All right, JC, let's continue this drama. Ah, that sounds so good. Baseline.
I loved you all the way. All the way until yesterday. Well, that was just all kinds of savage, and I was here for every second of it. This was an improvement on all fronts compared to what I've heard from Schizophrenic. The vocals, the production, the lyrical content, all much more mature and well executed in my opinion. And honestly, I don't want to focus on it too much because it's going to make me sad that this album never got released. You know, just a few months ago, I remember listening to a clip of JC talking to Lance about what happened in the early 2000s with his solo career after Schizophrenic, and Lance was saying what we've all been saying. It seems like he got the short end of the stick for a number of ridiculous reasons, and it's unfair because of how talented he is. And JC was still very reserved about what went on, which I can totally understand. Obviously, he's the only one who knows 100% what he went through and how it made him feel. But that being said, I cannot be the only one who is hoping that one day he will spill the tea and of course put music out, but even if he just released the K album, that would be just as epic. But obviously he doesn't owe us anything, so it is what it is. Maybe one day, maybe not. Either way, I will never not be a fan of this man. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more and leave your recommendations below for more solo JC content. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.